Ah, all right. Um, this is a uh, video of myself. Um, I'm doing this because my sister thinks that I look funny, and so she wanted me to do a video so she could look at my my funny face. Before I start, you probably think that this is maybe sitting on a tripod or maybe it's a computer. I don't really know what you think. So that way, there's no misillusions. I want to show you that uh, this is a stack of books. This is a stack of books on um, my desk here. It says Satchel, which doesn't make any sense because that, that's not my name. Story, story. I'm supposed to tell a story. Oh, there we go. Got it. I'm going to tell you a story of, uh, of a sombrero. And a, a sombrero, a Mustang, a police officer, and some random girl. This is a good story. Okay, here it goes. Uh, in high school, in, well, I'm still in high school. In my uh, in my class, second period class, I'm in a dance class, a dance technique class, and it's me and 30 girls. So there's one guy who is me, and then there's 30 girls, and we all learn how to dance. And some of them make fun of me because I'm the only guy in there, but um, it's uh, it's kind of nice. So uh, ooh, got a text message. Don't text very fast. I'm gonna put a smiley face at the end because everybody likes smiley faces. Now that'll, that'll make them probably pretty happy. Let's see a little smiley face. Uh, this dance we're doing is a Mexican hat dance, and I brought a sombrero from my house because I, I have one. Um, kind of lazy. I would go get it, but it looks like a sombrero. You know, big. Comes out here, Mexican sombrero. We do that Mexican hat dance that we choreographed, choreographed, that I helped choreograph. And at the end of the Mexican hat dance, I kind of clickety-clackety around the hat after I throw it on the ground and I dance around it like, a, like I'm, I'm pretending like I'm a Mexican, but I'm not, so, but I don't know. This is, this is where it gets interesting. At the end of the day, I take my sombrero and my backpack and my keys and I walk out to the parking lot and I start fiddling around uh, trying to find my keys in my backpack. I grab my sombrero and I put it on top of the Mustang because it's, you know, it's not too, it's not too tall of a car. And when I put it up there, I just started laughing because it looked like it looked like the car was wearing a hat. It literally it looked like the car was wearing a little sombrero, just a little, and it's like set it on there, like lean back, just like ah ha. That is funny. It's a funny Mustang, some Mexican Mustang, Mexican hat dancing Mustang. I found my keys, and I opened up the door with my keys, and I hit the gas pedal, and I drove off, and I drove off of the parking lot away from the parking lot and on some other random roads there's a stoplight and there's quite a few cars in front of me so I stopped behind them and there's a stoplight and there's two lanes on this the street going the same way and so I stop and I have my window rolled down and I had my arm resting on it because I thought it was cool maybe or uh, maybe I just my arm was tired I'm not sure why but I had my arm resting outside the window I hear this voice and I'm like where, where's that coming from and I look to the left and it just took me so much by surprise because there's this truck much taller than my Mustang, much, much taller, like the big wheels up in the air. And there's this girl hanging out the window, well, you know, her head or whatever, and she's holding my sombrero and she's waving it around. She's like, Reese, Reese, you left your sombrero. What? Like freaked out, was, like staring at this until it finally compensated that, oh, I put my sombrero on top of my car. I drove off. It must have, you know, woof, and my friend had picked it up and they jumped in their truck really fast and just, I mean, followed me. It was kind of creepy, actually, like, followed me. Two things come into my mind instantly. Well, well, actually, three things. First was, like, what's going on? This is scary. The second, after I realized that it was just a harmless girl with a sombrero, was, I was going to say, throw the sombrero. Throw it to me. She could throw it like the, and I could, because I got the window open, I could catch it. But at the same time, I was thinking, well, if I missed it, I would lose my sombrero forever. And my second thought was, okay, this is it. When it turns green, I'm going to tell her to swerve her car towards mine and mine towards hers. And just swerve right up next to it and then reach reach out of there and grab the sombrero and pull it back in. And I was thinking about it just for a little while. I was thinking about it. And then I realized, no, it's a bad idea. I probably shouldn't be swerving towards another car or, you know, reaching out the window and trying to grab things. So I did it. So I'm just like, ah, did light turn green? And I just yelled, okay, just just bring it to me next week. I was kind of disappointed a little bit. I, I was planning on wearing it that weekend. It, uh, it, it helps me out with different things. Just imagine doing normal things, except you're wearing a sombrero at the same time and it just makes it, you know, better. Who made a sombrero? 
I know they wear them in Mexico, but why is it? He's got the up, and then you got like the like the crazy rim out. Some hats were made so you could keep the water off your head, but this hat's like made to gather water. Like maybe that's it. Maybe they gathered rainwater with their hats and poured them into buckets. And so they turn off to the left, and I go straight because it turns because it turned green, and I'm sitting there laughing like while I'm driving. I'm sitting there going. Ah! you know laughing because it was really funny I guess or whatever and then I look in the rear view mirror and there's there's a car behind me and it's a police car right behind me and it had been behind me the whole time I w was like looking out the window and the girl was flinging her sombrero or my sombrero and I was thinking about swerving towards the car and hitting the car to get the sombrero and it's a red Mustang you know red Mustangs were red sports cars get pulled over more than any other car you know any other car so yeah, so it was, it was a good thing I didn't swerve towards the her car, and but I, I eventually got my sombrero back. Not not the Monday she forgot it, but like two weeks later she finally brought it and I got it back. I haven't worn it since, so apparently I didn't really miss it. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, that was the cornbread. I don't know if you heard that, and I should probably could get that before it burns. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit stop on. Oh snap. I'm just going to break it. <laughs>